Well, this claim is utterly, completely, unequivocally false. Okay, there is no truth to the matter that they've created life in the test tube. Now, I want to say one thing. If scientists one day did create life in the test tube, guess what it would prove? It would prove intelligence was necessary to create life. And yet some people will think that this proves that no intelligence was necessary to create life, so the scientists aren't intelligent then. But the point is, what was done in 1953 was a famous experiment by Stanley Miller, and all he did was he sparked some gases which he claimed were in the Earth's atmosphere. Now most scientists disagree that those gases were ever there. That's one thing. He sparked them, though, uh, and then he used a special trap to... Um, uh, to get to to collect the products. Now, in the real world, you don't have these traps strategically designed to to, to to collect the products and protect them from the ultraviolet and lightning, which would completely break them down. So uh, Miller actually had used um, cheated a bit by using these traps, and all he found were um, chemicals called amino acids. Now they are the building blocks of proteins but they will never actually build proteins in that situation. Because for one thing, uh, um, it's more likely that proteins will break down into the simpler things like amino acids. Amino acids will not form into the complicated things. Is the tendency is the wrong way. Uh, so you might get amino acids, but they will go no further. And real chemists, and my training is actually in chemistry, know that if you want to make a protein, you have to do special things. One thing you've got to do is get rid of water. However, doesn't the primordial soup have heaps of water in it? So it's just the wrong thing to do from a chemical uh, perspective. Another thing is there are so many different ways chemicals can react, and yet to make a protein, it has to react in a certain very uh, specific way. And a real chemist has to uh, react to them and actually protect the, them from reacting in other ways. You have these, what's called a protecting group, you put it on, do the reaction, then you remove the protecting group. Now there are no organic chemists around in the primordial earth to do that. And another uh, big problem with this uh, whole idea of creating life in a test tube is that uh, the building blocks we have come in two forms. It's like your left and your right hand. They are mirror images, but they, uh, in your body, your, your um, the building blocks are only the left-handed form. And it's very important that they're only the left-handed form. The right-handed, if any right-handed things got in, it would contaminate and it wouldn't do the right things that you need to do. And yet, uh, these experiments in 1953 produced an equal number of left and right-handed forms. And this is uh, a well-known problem and it's not been solved. How do we get the pure left-handed forms that we have in life today? because chemistry won't provide it. I've done the experiments myself, for instance, on left and right hand. Very hard to separate them. Very easy for the, for the pure left-handed forms to actually go back into the mixture, but we need to go to the pure left-handed forms. So chemistry is against that.